I was getting hot, but I did not break the sweat. You will see my advanced deadlifting technique. And you will see on the second set how, how even my hands were shaking. What did I do? I didn't do hard resets, even though the form was intact. Why did I do that? Because I feel that my central nervous system gives me this power. So this is the real aggressive overload. This, these steps that I am making little by little where I am earning the right to up the intensity to uh, the speed to do modifications to my form so what is the progressive overload? the progressive overload is not adding reps or sets it's not adding weight especially not the weight because when you are adding weight you will you are losing your form even though you still didn't don't have any form that's the biggest problem i'm telling you this is all a lie that you need to train harder than the last time all this works only on steroids because these steroids people they don't know better only to be careful not to tear the muscle that's the only thing they care about so that's why they are starting with lower reps with lower weights and then they are adding the weights so then so they don't tear the muscle anything else doesn't matter because the central nervous system says them you can do this the way it feels light and they're doing this in real life if you are not using steroids just like me so or maybe you are using but whatever that, this is not a problem i i don't judge even uh, okay so what can we do to be better and that is actually a gift from god that we are not using steroids because then you are ser searching for an ideal technique and form and then you are not growing only one muscle but the body evolves itself to a machine and then you are the body it heals itself in a sense so in these high this these fast repetitions i am connecting my upper body with my lower body i want to have this very condensed space in me i want to be invincible i want to be a robot that can go and go and go and not be damaged so but uh, to do this uh, I earlier was resetting every set. Why? Because the weight is quite heavy. It's almost my weight. 60 kilograms or I don't know, 133 pounds, whatever. 60 kilograms and my weight is 73, 163, whatever pounds. So, and I'm doing this with the high speed of course so when I'm doing this when I was doing this I, I couldn't have so much power so I need that to reset and to have um, more pause between the repetitions and now that I was pretty consistent 
and that the spring is here and I'm feeling that I have to do this and I'm riding my bike now I need more power you know I, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling that I can do this and I'm telling you not the age not the money not some life circumstances is the problem the problem is always you and the stimulus in the head and of course the dieting the uh, sleeping everything you know this is so complicated and I'm telling you don't uh, snack never snack this is so bad for you you need to be I'm very careful with food and with sleep, of course. So now, this is the progressive overload. Now that I can give me this progressive overload that he chooses to give me the progressive overload. Not that some program would tell me, oh, now, today, make, do one repetition more. No, it doesn't work that way. Because then you might only reduce the intensity and or and and or to break the form. For example, some time ago, a month ago, I was doing even more repetitions on, on the last sets set. Even 13 I'm doing I was doing it so that I have something for the future and and what did happen? I actually was saving up some of this power for these last repetitions. I knew that I will do them. They are they were not not on sur surprise. Not like first times. So yes, when you do, you, when you are doing this on surprise, then okay, it's a good way to break the body. But if you are not doing this on surprise, then you are not only damaging the previous ones. So I am telling you, this is the way on this earth. Uh, be thankful to God that you are still not in hell. Because in hell you, you don't have any chance anymore. On this earth you can be anything. You want you have you can have any power you want and if you are listening to me I'm telling you if you have the ground under your feet you can do anything just be patient and find and search and connect and push and become a real machine.